Mike Angelino Sports. All right, man. Um, Gabriel Flores versus Lopez. That's nice fight. Uh, man, Gabe Flores was the top prospect for top rank. And um, a kid from uh, Stockton, California, up north, Northern California. And, um, yeah, man, he got a beat down last night, man. All right, so I have uh, two things that stood out uh, a day before the fight. Uh, Gabe Flores had a fight. Um, he had an interview with, uh, there's a YouTube channel called Fight Hype. And when they were interviewing, yeah, he looked a little dry and he he was he, he sounded sick. Like he had uh, a mucus in it. He sounded a little sick. And, and and I was like, what? And then um, Fight Hype was interviewing and, and they asked him. And they're like, oh, man, they're going to ask. They asked him. And they asked him, hey, man, you sound a little, you sound a little sick. You, you okay, champ? And then he was like, nah, man, I'm good. But it, he still had the, uh, uh, like, stuffy nose. And I was like, oh, man, this guy had COVID or has COVID or had COVID or something, man. And, um. So it felt it felt a little weird, and then um, during the interview they asked him, "Hey, um, man, I'm surprised you you weighed in at 130 today." I'm like, "What? Isn't he a 130 pound fighter?" And and Gabe Flores uh, uh, responded like, "Yeah, you know, I always fight at catch weights 134, 133. You know, I'm like, what? That I didn't know that. I'm like, oh man, he looks a little dry and he looks a little sick. Oh, is oh man, maybe he's not. He couldn't make the weight or he's." can't make the weight is how is he gonna perform in the fight i'm like oh man so yeah so the kid was cocky during the weigh-in um yeah he he, he was he was in a fight uh there's a uh, he fought a, a mexican fighter from a mexican national right from uh, mexicali and during the weigh-in yeah i'm gonna knock you out the kid's a little cocky i'm like oh man he he signed to jay prince uh from rap a lot so um uh, he's a boxing manager and um so He's a little cocky. Um, um, he, he, Andre Ward visited him at, at, at uh, in his camp. So, yeah, he's getting a little fame, and he and maybe that was a little bit too much. So, during the weigh-in, yeah, I'm gonna knock you out. He was telling the other guy and put the the gun sign on um in his face. So I'm like, oh man, this kid's a little cocky. He's good though, but we'll see. So the fight started. It says jump the 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 fighter Lopez. Uh, put pressure on him and boom, boom, he was landing shots. Boom, overhand rights. I'm like, hey man, what, what? And, and all right, so that's the early rounds. And boom, he was hitting him with that overhand right. I'm like, hey man, put your hand up. And even Tim Bradley in the announcer, like, hey, put your left hand up. And he, and you know, every all these fighters always get hit with that overhand right when you're trying to do the Floyd Mayweather defense. Berto got knocked out, got dropped because he was trying to do the, the Floyd Mayweather defense. Uh, I, I believe versus Karras. Uh, AB, I don't know how many times he got Maidana my, my put hands on him. And he always got hit with the overhand right. Because, dude, it, you have to be doing it since you're like six, seven years old doing that Floyd Mayweather defense, man. Mayweather was born uh, with that defense when they took him out of his mom's uh, uh, stomach, whatever. Uh, he came out with the Floyd Mayweather defense, his hands and everything. He had to, so, you can't just start doing it and... and yeah, so he was doing that, and he was getting caught, caught. Um, he was going to the, so the, the Mexican uh, fighter, uh, Lopez, was putting pressure on him, uh, changing levels, faking down, going up, overhand rights, body shots, investing to the body. And the kid was like a one-trick pony. He was doing the same moves, just trying to get him with that jab, check hook. The jab, right, check hook. The whole fight, and his dad was saying, hey, man, stand your ground. Put pressure on him. Tripled up the jab and he wasn't listening, man. It, it, it felt like he was off or he never or he never faced a competition like this. Um, yeah, man. You, when you're fighting fighters from the third world, man, it, you have to be ready, especially fighters from uh, from Mexico, man. Um, Max Killerman once said that if, if you fight with a fighter, uh, with a taxi driver in, in Mexico, particularly in Tijuana, best believe, best believe that you're going to get into a scrap. Lopez wasn't from Tijuana, but he was from the neighboring city, man. He was from Mexicali. Best believe, best believe Flores was going to be into it in, in the scrap. So he was in a scrap all night, and um, he was getting hit with everything but the kitchen sink, man. Um, and that the, the, uh, Lopez was talking to him, hitting him to the body, countering him. It's just like, yeah, the kid, he looked like a novice, man. He didn't, he didn't prepare right. Bad habits in the gym. He got too, too cocky. And talking about too cocky, uh, man, it happens to a lot of American, Chicano and Mexican American fighters. They get cocky and they face a Mexican national and they get beat. They, they get knocked out. Valderas is another uh, Mexican American um, fighter from Central uh, California. 
oh, he was talking about that. Oh, yeah, that I'm the future. Hey, I'm better than Canelo because Canelo doesn't know English. I'm like, I'm more marketable. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop trying to put someone down, especially the face of boxing Canelo, man. Come on, man. Pay your dues, put in work, and, 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 and let your, your, your fist do the talking. So this would happen to the kid, and I would rather see him get knocked out than get a whooping from for, for 10 rounds. He, the accumulation of fights, it, uh, 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 punches, it hurt a fighter more than getting knocked out cold. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, the, it, it, the dad was trying to stop the fight. He, he uh, But uh, Gay Flores... No, you better not stop the fight. So the the, the dad was, was facing a hard decision. He wanted to be loyal to his son, but he's a trainer. So, yeah, that's the, one of the reasons uh, father and son's uh, combination doesn't work. But there's combinations that do work. But, yeah, man, he, uh, I don't know, man. This that That's tough, especially if you're uh, uh, in boxing, especially if you're a Mexican fighter, Chicano fighter. The ultimate sin in boxing is, is quitting. So, man, he was... Uh, he was he was facing a hard decision and yeah man um, they they didn't stop the fight he at the last 15 seconds or 20 seconds of the fight he tried to stop the fight the ref couldn't see it they should have threw in the towel it's not the ref's fault i believe um and yeah he got he got hit man with power a lot of power shots overhand rights body shots he got hit a lot man and and um we'll see how the kid reacts man and uh we'll see his next fight uh um how 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 uh how he looks, but he took a beating, man, so, yeah, so, uh, we'll see, and, um, shout outs to Lopez, man, he, uh, showed up and showed out, so, much credit to him, and we'll see how Flores, uh, comes back, man, I hope he comes back, I like the kid, but he got humbled, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, man, that's all I got, Mike Angelino Sports, I'm gone.